Hi everybody, my name is Jewel and this is J7409 Weather Today. We're going to take a look at the NDFD map. We'll put it in motion here. You're going to see some purple show up over in uh, New England. That's ice. You know, the blue is snow, the green is red for the most points. Now, what's happening? We got a cold upper level low. It's interacting with Tropical Storm Zeta, and it's going to bring widespread flooding rains and gusty winds <clears throat> Excuse me, from the Central Plains to the East Coast today. Now, that cold upper low is going to develop in a coastal storm, with some wintry precipitation expected for interior New England tomorrow. And we're going to check all of this out coming up right now. So far as severe weather goes today, and by the way, yes, we do have that other system I talked about about a week ago that might pop up around election time for the U.S. Well, I'm going to show you all about that, too. But severe weather, where you see this dark green, this dark green, it's looking like what's going to happen. We do have this chance of isolated, severe gust, and also a risk for tornadoes that may exist today from the Florida Panhandle into North Carolina and Southern Virginia in association with Tropical Cyclone Zeta. It's up to around 5% chance of a tornado that could happen in these dark green areas. Wind gusts, no hail, and some rain. Other areas as you see in the lighter green, good chance of a severe thunderstorm that may pop up in your areas. Now, a lot of places are reporting that Zeta came in as a Category 3, but I think it missed it by one mile per hour. Might as well say a 3, but I think it was just as high as it could get to a Category 2. Many are without power. Some of these are due to the ice and the snow that's happened this past week. Some are due to the fires. But when it comes to Zeta, let's check out Louisiana this morning. 480,989 people without electricity. We move to Mississippi, 2001, 437. Alabama, 2084, 777 without electricity. Moving over to Georgia, over a million people are without electricity. Can you believe that, folks? When we move down to Florida, we've got 20,004. South Carolina, 70,981. North Carolina, 34,449. All of the snow and the ice that came through Oklahoma, 316,318 are without power. In Texas, we got 66,000, over 66,000 without power. And due to the fires over in California, 20,358 people are without electricity. Looking over at the National Hurricane Center this morning, we see Zeta is still here. Right there, 60 mile per hour wind. Still a powerful tropical storm, folks. Can you believe it? Barometric pressure, 990 millibars. It's 35.3 north, 83.5 west. Moving at 39 miles per hour. Zeta should move on up and get in these areas and go on out, which will combine with that low I was talking about to make some wintry precipitation up in these areas right in here. How much wintry precipitation? I'll get to it in a moment, but here, yeah, you know, folks, I, I really hate to show you this. That's why I haven't talked about it a whole lot. I have mentioned it, but it's a larger area of disturbed weather moving from the tropical Atlantic across the Lesser Antilles and into the Eastern Caribbean Sea. It is associated with a pair of tropical waves. Now, the upper level winds are expected to become more conducive for development of this disturbance during the next couple of days, and a tropical depression could form over the weekend, not storm, depression. 
or early next week. Now, this is going to move westward across the central and western Caribbean Sea. 20% chance of forming in two days and five days. It's going to jump up to 60%. As we check out the American model, the American model has been very good this year on picking up these systems, more so than the European model. It's been much slower. It picks them up, but not as fast. And the system that I just showed you that may develop is right here, as you can see, around Wednesday the 4th, right after Election Day in the U.S. It will start on the 3rd, though, like I forecast about a week ago. Let's get all Ian out of here. Winds, 52 mile per hour wind gust. So, that's a tropical storm right there if it makes up. Do not worry, I will keep my eyes on it. Here we have the NAM map, courtesy of Tropical Tidbits. This will take us through the next three days. So I'm just going to turn it on and let it roll while I tell you folks what to expect. Safari snow totals. Looking like South China, Maine, you're going to get some rain before midnight tomorrow, then rain and snow, and the snow should be more prevalent after around 1 a.m. Friday. Don't expect a lot, maybe a half an inch, maybe not. It's going to get cold, low of 29. Lebanon, New Hampshire, totals between tonight and tomorrow around noon, one inch, low for that evening, tomorrow evening, around 29. Everybody's got 29 for tomorrow in these areas. Boston, Massachusetts, you got some snow possibly mixed with rain before noon Friday. Then snow, snow, one to two inches is possible. Low Friday night around 29. It's going to get a little breezy too. You could have some wind gusts Friday around 28 miles per hour. So, yeah, some snow's coming in. Also, in a little bit of Connecticut and Rhode Island, I have posted the uh, Watches Warning and Hazardous Weathers over in the community post. Just click that, go over, and you can see them. Now, a hyperactive weather pattern. It's going to accumulate today over the central and eastern United States as this cold upper level low continues to interact with Tropical Storm Zeta after making landfall yesterday afternoon over southeastern Louisiana. Zeta is forecast to race across the southern Appalachians and the mid-Atlantic states today while gradually losing tropical characteristics. Now, even though Zeta has weakened over land, the core of the storm is going to carry strong gusty winds. Yes, it's still going to have those strong gusty winds happening, folks. And it's looking like they should be just southeast of the track of Zeta, which could result in some damages to structures and still cause power outages for many. Now, some severe thunderstorms are possible, as I've showed you, across the interior southeast and the Florida Panhandle ahead of this cold front coming. To the north and west of Zeta, strong southerly flow aloft ahead of the cold upper low will continue to transport tropical moisture northward from the Gulf of Mexico and then interact with a stalled front extending across the interior interior eastern U.S. Now, we got a wide swath of heavy rain. It's going to continue to expand eastward from the mid-Mississippi and Ohio valleys into the east coast today. The heaviest rains expected to fall across the Appalachians into the northern mid-Atlantic, where one to three inches of rain with locally higher amounts are expected. But by tonight, the cold upper low will rapidly be approaching the east coast and then developing into this coastal storm. Another round of moderate to heavy rain is possible from the northern mid-Atlantic with gusty winds early Friday as the coastal low intensifies just off the east coast. Now, some wintry precipitation can also be expected for interior New England as this low pulls down the colder air from eastern Canada. Much more tranquil weather will return by late Friday as the entire storm complex exits into 
the Atlantic. And we got a low pressure system. It's going to track on shore across British Columbia on tomorrow, bringing some precipitation across the Pacific Northwest. Now, the center of the low is forecast to track just north of the U.S. Canadian border of the Northern Plains Friday night. And it's looking like a lack of moisture is going to result in little to no precipitation for the Northern Rockies and Northern Plains Friday into early Saturday as this cold front passes through. Strong gusty winds will be felt and the strong winds will raise that fire threat across in the uh, Pacific Northwest by tomorrow. And that's a check of what's happening today through the next three days. Everybody hang in there. Hopefully this other system that will be in the Caribbean will not develop and come anywhere or affect anyone i will keep my eyes on it it's too early to tell that's just like with snow storms you cannot predict a snowstorm any further out than a week ahead because things change so much so hang in there folks a lot of you are going to be cold a lot of you will see a little snow i'm not forecasting a big snow out but it will be the first snow you see this year. Have a good day, a safe day, a blessed day. Thanks for everything you do for me. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, check off all to make sure you get all my latest weather videos. I would appreciate it greatly. Much peace, love, and kindness to each and every one of you, and thank you so much for watching.